in our book four. We all know where that is right down at the bottom here of the agenda. All right. DMA one, book four. So script typeface. It resembles handwriting. What? Probably saying to yourself, script resembles handwriting? I know. It's crazy to think about. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. Objectives create a visual definition of the script type family. Oh, it's a family. So, eight and a half by 11, portrait. This is portrait uh, orientation, right? So, if you're using fo Topi, just click on there. And if you're using Photoshop, file new or in Photoshop, either one. Create new, file new, any of the new feature things there. Go to print, because this is going to be a print resolution uh, document. So print, eight and a half by 11, the first one right there. Now we're gonna title that. Let's see if it goes. Okay, we're gonna title it DMA1 underscore script. Oh, D5 script, because this is design five. So all of our design files will go together. That underscore script. I always have to sound things out. Okay, and your last name there. Check over here in our book and see if that's actually the name. Okay, yes, D5 script. Excellent. So photo P, if you're using that there. So file new, print is what I want to click on down here. And eight and a half by 11 is going to be down at the bottom here, bottom corner. And in the new project, click in there and then you put the name DMA1 underscore D5, design five and underscore script. Cool, and up 11, blah, blah, blah. Okay, create. And then create over here in Photoshop. Oops, where's this? Ah, uh, there it is. Create. <clears throat> so now we're just gonna put that text in there and we're gonna design it or format it afterwards, but we just wanna get all the text in there. The type tool and you can do, you know what you can do. Well, let's just get the text in there. So, script is the first word. Okay, I can't see mine. Help me, help me, I can't see it. Okay, because it's white and white on white. Not a lot of contrast there. So I'm gonna go with the highest contrast, black. Aha, there it is. Let's do this. Once we have the word script in there, let's make it into a script font. Let's just do that. I know. I ask a lot. Okay. Oh, Zapfino is a great one. If you're on a computer on Photoshop, Zapfino is a lovely script font. Okay. Let's see what we got over here in Photo P. We're going to write the word script. The type tool, I'm going to click down here because then we're going to start formatting up there. So script again it could be a little bit bigger all right so we're gonna have to find the script font in photo p all right so i'll be right over here and this little thing there's a script thing but we got to turn off the others see if you turn out these little blue check marks next to everything but oh wow there's a lot of them okay boom 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 wow it was like 50 million hundred, all right? That's a lot. Okay, I turned off pretty much everything but script. <laughs> There's like 50 here. Okay. All right, there we go. So now, these are the script ones. Alex Brushes one, Arizona. Let's try Arizona. It's script, but it's not classic script. It's more of like a 50s brush kind of a thing. So we're gonna look for more of a classic script. Ooh, England Hand looks sassy, what is that? Oh, England Hand's a nice script font. 
So if you're in photo P, you can just type in England hand, or you can pick another script font if you want. So that, that'll be a good one for photo P, England hand. All right, <clears throat> now let's see. So in our little textbook here, our little digital textbook, script typefaces on a single layer resemble handwriting. Check, check, test one, two, handwriting. Oh my gosh. Typefaces, copy that over here. All right. Okay, can be used with serif, sans serif, and display typefaces. All right. See, the four main types of uh, typefaces we're looking at are the serif, sans serif, script, and display. And so it can always be used with all of the others, but not itself, because that would be bad. This is a little long here, so let me click on that. Now I just clicked on the checkbox up here, the check mark, and then I can resize it. Just go, where am I? I'm in Photoshop, okay. okay I'm gonna copy and paste that over here in Photo P. And click once. I'm gonna make this size quite a bit smaller to start with. Okay, mine's about a hundred-ish. All right. Boosh! Do not mix typefaces from the same script family. That's what it's supposed to be. All right, that's what that says down there. So now I'm gonna copy and paste that over in Photoshop. Cool. Click once down there. There we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> okay, so the main idea here is script typefaces resemble handwriting. That I'm using? I'm using Zapfino. Script typefaces resemble handwriting. See, that's something you learned today. Agenda, the DMA book four. Okay, oh, I already have it open. Go ahead. All right, so we have that uh, stuff written there. Okay, we'll do the top part first, the script typefaces. Now let's put our borders on there. You know, like the ones we used to do back in the day. I'm gonna hit Command or Control Zero. It'll make that fit in there. Then the rulers. Commander Control R, right. Thank you, Anthony, for that. So if you're on a Mac, it's Command R. And if you're on Windows or Chromebook, it'll be uh, Control, Control R. You have to make sure it's in inches, right? So if you right click on the ruler, then you can choose inches. It should be in inches because this is an inches document, right? So over on Mac here, it's Command R. And then you just drag from the rulers out, right? About a quarter inch, which would be two little bumps there. So I'll zoom in. So you can hit Command Plus and it zooms in, so it's much easier to see. Okay, so put that one there, quarter inch, or just about a quarter inch. Let me get the Move tool. Okay. Okay, so that's half an inch. That's quarter inch. Okay, when it gets really big, it's hard to tell sometimes. Then drag in from this side. So that's an inch. That's a half inch. That's a quarter inch. All right. And then I'm going to hold the, um, with my thumb on the space bar. Just move the document down to this corner so we can get these two in there. So drag this one over, quarter inch, and then down from the top to the bottom there. Quarter inch, okay, command zero. Now in photo P, same thing, command or control plus. That way you're able to see the measurements a little bit bigger. And let's see, that's an inch, that's about a half inch. So this is not, is it, for some reason they bust up the inch into five sections versus four sections. So we're just gonna go with a sort of almost a quarter inch about that 
Then I'm gonna go over here to this corner, drag down from the top there. Uh, let's see, two little marks there, and two from over here. And then I hit Command or Control Zero, and we're looking like that. All right, cool. Now we have that in there, and let's let's um, format this text. Okay, I'm going to drag this up. I'm over here in Photo P. So in Photo P, you need to hold Shift to constrain the proportions, right? So in Photo P, you hold Shift and drag from the corner, and it constrains it. It doesn't squish or stretch it. You just drag it up till it goes from this side. See what I did? Here, let me undo that. What I did is I lined it up so it's touching the top over here and this uh, edge on the left. And then holding shift, drag it till the T meets the border there. In Photoshop, if you just happen to be in Photoshop, um, okay, so I'm just gonna drag this up to the corner there with the move tool. And then uh, in Photoshop, you don't hold shift. They changed it. So you just drag from the corner. Okay. See like that? You have the move tool, right? So at the top, make sure auto select and show transform are both checked. Because when you see when it says show transform, then you can see the little boxes. And then you can just drag.